Jody Ray, and my title is Director of Florida Covered Kids and Families at the University of South Florida. And people can still sign up for ACA, right? How do they do that? Um, folks can still sign up for uh, the marketplace coverage um, at our enrollment event. We are having enrollment events. We have navigators uh, all across the state of Florida, all across Tampa Bay. Um, open enrollment goes through January 31st, so they can meet with the navigator. They can go on healthcare.gov to apply themselves or look at plans. They can also uh, go to Covering Florida and they can sign up with the navigator. We'll assist them with going through some of the plans and understanding some of the uh, complexities of health insurance and help them pick a plan that best suits them. But there's been a lot of confusion because if the Republicans in Washington want to repeal uh, ACA. How will that affect enrollment? Are people, um, are fewer people now enrolling or trying to enroll? Not in the state of Florida. We uh, have enrolled uh, at least around 1.8 million so far. We have far exceeded the previous year's enrollment. Um, not only the enrollment targets, but the enrollments that we've actually accomplished in the previous year. So this year has been higher than any year previously, and those that signed up will have covered for uh, 2017. If it does get repealed, who are the types of people that will be most affected? It will be people who don't have access to health insurance for employers. Uh, women will no longer have those protections to not have higher premiums based on gender. Uh, children uh, will be losing their coverage they have through the, on their parents at age 26, so young adults. Um, we have a lot of young adults that get coverage and get free preventive care and free contraceptive care, and they won't, that, that stuff will go away um, with the repeal. So these are the things that uh, people have been able to take advantage of with the Affordable Care Act, um, preventive care. Uh, people won't be able to be, are not currently able to be denied for pre-existing conditions. Um, they get free preventive care, things like that. Those are all the components of the ACA. And are people that you talk to that are, that are hearing that, that, that ACA might be repealed, are they confident that what will be replaced, what it will be replaced with, will be something that's better for them? Consumers are have no clarity on this. Um, I would say that most consumers we talk to are are confused about what is going to take place next. Um, they're concerned. Obviously, a lot of people didn't have access to health care, now have access to health care in a way they never had before, and they're concerned that that access to health care is going to be taken away, so they're very concerned about this. Um, I wouldn't say uh, that there are no questions, because there's lots of questions, um, and you know the best that we can do is provide information that we know uh, to be true when it's 